Next on our Meet Your Candidate special is House District 11A. The district includes all of Carleton County, four townships in southern St. Louis County, and two townships in far northern Pine County. The Democratic incumbent running for re-election in House District 11A is Mike Sundin of ESCO. My name is Mike Sundin and it has been my pleasure to have served the past six years as District 11A State Representative. Some legislative successes we've enjoyed are WSSD improvements and an expansion into Big Lake to serve uh, hundreds of customers out there and preserve the uh, uh, environment in that area. Another success would be the Moose Lake Schools. I achieved uh, some legislation a couple years back that provided for a 60% off uh, the referendum price to the homeowners. I secured funding for the Text for Life Suicide Prevention Program that serves youth, military, not only in the state of Minnesota, but nationwide as well. Unfortunately, it's a growing industry. Uh, I've been active in holding Big Pharma responsible for the role in, ad in addictions. Uh, the opioid crisis is out of control and I gave one heck of a floor speech uh, uh, to advocate for a penny a pill fee for opioids. That money would be used to uh, augment treatment uh, facilities and programs. I was very active in uh, public pension protection. I'm very proud of that. Our public employees deserve a secure future. They've earned it. It's a promise made to them and a promise that should be kept. One of my key uh, efforts was uh, the Responsible Contracting Practices Bill, where if uh, contractors are not paying their uh, proper uh, wages and or benefits to workers, uh, they can be debarred from state contracts. I f tend to find that uh, the contractors will remain honest when they are compelled to do so. Some of the challenges I'm looking forward to taking on in the future would be uh, sustainable transportation funding. We've inherited some great tran transportation and infrastructure uh, uh, in infrastructure uh, facilities here in the state of Minnesota and it's our obligation to maintain those and improve on them when we can. Uh, sustainable funding may include a uh, uh, gas tax, it may include a combination of other fees, but uh, we need to do something better. One priority should be cradle to grave education. With a changing economy and changing workforce, we need to constantly improve on making certain that we provide the world's best workforce here in Minnesota. Quality, affordable health care is always a priority for every family, and I believe Medicare for all, or something similar to that, should be a priority. One, uh, one other thing that I'd like to address is uh, wage theft enforcement. There's plenty of uh, employees, employers out there that are not quite uh, up to snuff on uh, treating their employer, employees right. And uh, we need to make certain that uh, people are paid for their work. I'm asking for your vote on November 6th so we can move Minnesota forward. Thank you. The Republican challenger in District 11A is Jeff Dotseth from Kettle River. I'm Jeff Dotseth. I'm running to be your state representative. I'm a husband, father, grandfather, and small business owner. I'm a lifelong Minnesota resident. I care deeply about our community and the values that we share. Our district has not received a fair stake from politicians in St. Paul. Families in our community face skyrocketing costs of health care. I'll give you a few examples. Came across a young family, they're paying $1,800 per month, self-employed family, for health care. This is ridiculous, with a high deductible. They made one medical visit to the clinic, $1,000 just to walk in the door. This is unheard of. Another young family is holding off on retirement just to the fact of the cost of health care and the fears of what it's gonna cost if they do retire. These are supposed to be their golden years. Another young man, very touching story, hardworking guy, uh, self-employed. He has a medication that costs him $1,000 per month for that one medication. 
He explained to me that he can actually go to Mexico, Canada, get the same exact medication for $50 a month. Same story, different faces, people to people. Doctors, we were promised that we could keep our doctors. You know, that's not true. Young family I came across, they shared with me a letter that showed that they can no longer keep their doctor that they had since marriage, that they've got to switch to a different doctor, the one that they trusted and relied upon. We've got to honor our promises. When elected, I will support policies that provide insurance choices for consumers, all in the effort to lower costs and ensure patients are able to keep their doctors. That's the key, is keeping our doctors and having the choices. When talking to voters all across our district, I know that we value our schools and ensuring our children receive a world-class education. That's important to me. I support our schools and I will work to fix the education formula so our schools receive their fair share. Our district is filled with good, honest, hardworking folks. Mm. And we need a representative who will fight to bring back good paying jobs so our economy can thrive. Northern Minnesota taxpayers all across our district know that family budgets are tight. Mm. And I will be a voice for fiscal responsibility and cut wasteful spending so that we can lower taxes for the middle class families. Yes, I am Jeff Dodseth. I'm a real person just like you. I've had good times, I've had hard times. And I'm running to be your next state representative to bring your values to St. Paul. On November 6th, I would be honored to earn your support and your vote. And yes, I'm Jeff Dotsep, and I do approve this message. Thank you.